The protest Tuesday night began as a mobile caravan traveling from Riverfront Park to St. Matthews. LMPD says they were forced to intervene when some of the driving became aggressive and reckless. WLKY Chopper HD captured some of those moments from the air. Matthew Ballard and his friend Jason Downey were a part of the caravan, live streaming the entire thing to their Facebook audience. When police moved in, they headed back to Jefferson Square. Before we were going to part for the day, uh, we decided that uh, we would check out, just see what's going on. Protesters quickly became upset after they say police towed a woman's van while she was just loading up the remaining supplies from the day. And she was in the process of loading the stuff at 11 p.m. at the time of the, you know, park closing. Um, and they stated that they were doing this because it was a public safety issue. Upset protesters began dumping trash into the street and police in riot gear moved in a short time later. Police told protesters at that time they could remain on the sidewalk, but protesters say that quickly changed. But we constantly receive conflicting messages from the LMPD. Many of the protesters are using their cell phones to become citizen journalists, but they're concerned it could be making them a target for police. You get completely unfiltered, raw, footage of exactly what's going on. It was this footage from Maxwell Mitchell, another citizen journalist that captured the moments when police in riot gear returned. So you could just tell in their hips, their shoulders, the way they were holding their batons, it was time for arrest. Ballard moved across the street, but Downey kept his cameras rolling. They were on the sidewalks, and when they were told to leave and move, people were doing just that. They were going down the sidewalks. But that's when police moved in, knocking Downey to the ground, arresting him and several others, charging them with unlawful assembly and failure to disperse. I would say there were four or five all together in that area that they grabbed at that time. Same thing, threw them on the ground, you know, zip ties, the whole thing. Mitchell got away, but he feels if he stayed, he might have been arrested too. Do I feel like streamers are being targeted, media is being targeted? To some extent, yes. But regardless, these citizen journalists plan to keep their streams up as long as the protests continue to make sure the public sees the full picture, even if they are down there with them. It's an unedited truth that I feel like should be streamed, and that's why I'm happy to be a part of it amongst the other live streamers that are down there on a consistent basis. It's very important. We have to show everything that is happening, the good, the bad, the ugly. At the end of the day, that's our responsibility. That's part of the lane that we've chosen as part of this movement. Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Protesters say on other nights there has been better communication between officers and protesters before things escalated, and they hope that will improve in the days ahead. As for that towed van, LMPD tells us it was parked in a travel lane despite several available parking spots.